reaction tonight to a new plan aiming to get more homeless people off the street, and it would do so using money paid by tourists. In the current edition of Willamette Week, it outlines details of an arrangement which would divert more than $5 million each year from a fund made up of hotel room and rental car fees. Our Core Harlan is live tonight with more Core. What you find out? From our ex perspective, we're very liberal, but and we have empathy. But at the same time, we have a lot of pe we have a lot of disruptions. There's a lot of people that are basically terrorizing the general public. J.P. Burbacher and his wife bought the Spice and Tea Exchange less than two years ago. It's on a heavily traveled section of Southwest Broadway near Pioneer Square. The business has been good, says J.P., but he increasingly sees a downtown populated by problem begging, panhandlers, street camping, and other people with obvious mental illness. J.P. says it's on the minds, in fact, of both regular customers and tourists who come through his door. I think they realize that we have a homeless problem that's apparent, and sometimes I've actually had guests that are afraid to come downtown, like I said, and uh, when you see what looks like dead bodies on the street in the middle of the day, it can be a little disturbing. One of the first things JP tells me is that he's pretty liberally minded and does have empathy for people, street people he sees. He's glad to hear, though, about the proposed idea among the city of Portland, Multnomah County, and Metro to set aside a portion of tourist dollars for homeless services. The idea was described in detail by Willamette Week earlier this week. It's been championed, the paper says, by Multnomah County Chair Deborah Kafori. The article says the idea does have critics, some downtown hotel owners, and some at City Hall and some at Metro as well. But no one seems to disagree there's a problem. And for small business person J.P. Burbacher doing business in downtown's high-rent hotel district, an attempt to do more to clean up downtown is a far better choice than sticking with the status quo. Now, this is an unconventional idea to use tourist dollars in this manner. Portland City Council is scheduled to vote on this plan uh, this coming week, uh, but they have expressed support for the plan. Multnomah County Commissioners have yet to schedule a vote on this matter, and, of course, uh, the Metro Council has already approved this idea. So, Trevor, there sounds like there's a fair amount of support, uh, and this is, a, by uh, most accounts, a pretty unique way of using tourist dollars in downtown Portland. A unique problem that needs unique solutions. Thank you, Cor.